All right. Well, I hope everybody can see and hear me. Would somebody mind going in the chat right now and just saying, yep, can see you, can hear you, and just let me know. Okay, perfect. I'm getting some feedback. I think there's a little bit of a tech delay between kind of what I'm saying and doing on the screen and then what's showing up um, on the other end, but that's all right. I'll tell you what, I'm excited for those of you who are here um, watching in person. Um, I've had a lot, a lot, a lot of requests for people to, um, uh, for me to send the, the recording out afterwards. So this is being recorded and you know, I'll probably actually send everybody, including you guys that are here tonight, um, either a, an email or a text or maybe both with the recording link on it. Um, and then that way, if you want to rewatch it, if, if something kind of went over your head and you just weren't sure, that's fine. Or if you wanted to pass it, pass it along um, to a friend, family member, neighbor, coworker, someone else that you feel like is struggling with their health that needed to hear tonight's message. And so I'm going to start here right away. I, I respect everybody's time. And it's 7.30 at night. It's time to unwind and kind of um, get ready for bed, for me anyway. Um, but I, I first have to tell you, I don't normally sound like this. Those of you guys who have been around me know I've been fighting. Uh, I think I froze my lungs um, all of these, <laughs> these dang cold days where I've been out working on our farm with our horses and, you know, all the things. So i am kind of lost my voice. So... If you guys know me, you know I can be a pretty passionate person, um, especially when it's something that I'm passionate about, which functional medicine and what we're here to talk about tonight, that is definitely something I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about serving people and helping people find answers and have hope. And, and in, this, in this day and age, in our healthcare system and in just our world, there's just not a whole lot of hope. And it doesn't seem like sometimes there's a lot of answers for what our, we're struggling with. So we're going to get through it tonight. I might have to sip on some water as we go to get through it. Um, but we're going to start right square away. Um, last time, I did this same thing last Tuesday night. Had a really great turnout, and about halfway through, the whole thing froze up. So I'm kind of monitoring it on a different screen. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing, because last time I did not do that, and I was not even aware that it had froze up halfway through. So my bad. I am not a very techie person. So for any of you who don't know me uh, very well, Dr. Scott Keller is my name. I've been in practice for almost 15 years in Lincoln, um, and, and mostly as, uh, in chi the chiropractic field. <coughs> and um, in these last number of years, I'll just tell you what, it's just been over that course of my career, it's been very frustrating for me to see so many people that are hurting um, in so many different ways in their health and just not having the answers that they that they need and the guidance and the help and the coaching that they need. And so functional medicine has been on my radar for a long, 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 long time, but it really hasn't been until the last few years that my wife and I, Dr. Brittany, um, have both started to kind of dive in and we started to study and took classes and courses. And, and then last year in 2023, I started to work with a number of patients in our office here and that's been going really well. And I'm just so on fire for it. And it's just such a need um, that I'm taking it full time. As, actually, as of next week, I'm kind of retiring for now anyway out of the clinical chiropractic world um, and letting Dr. Brittany and Dr. Shelby take over the whole clinic here. Um, and I'm doing full time functional medicine because it is, as you guys hopefully will learn tonight, um, functional medicine is not just a, oh, call me when you have an issue, kind of like your medical doctors. It is a deep dive, comprehensive look at your life, your lifestyle and everything. Um, and, and it's a lot of time and energy for me to put into you to help you achieve your goals and figure things out. So um, that's kind of my plan in this upcoming year. So um, I hope you all, um, you know, well, join me on the journey if if it feel if you feel like it's the right fit for you. We'll talk about that later. Or if you know people who need this kind of help, um, just pass them my way. I'll give you my contact info a little later. But I'm going to start uh, sharing my screen. We're going to jump right into just a little bit of a slideshow presentation here. So I, I just kind of call it "Live Your Most Powerful Life" because we all want to live life. We want to live with energy 
and vitality. And honestly, one of the most annoying things I think I hear, and it's not annoying in the fact that I get it because I even used to say it, it but it's like such a, it's just not a truth is, oh, I'm getting older. So yeah, this is going to happen. I'm going to wake up stiffer. I'm going to be in, in more you know misery. I can't work out like I used to. I'm not as flexible as I used to be. I get sick more often. I have all these hormone issues. You know, I don't sleep as well. The, the list goes on and on and on of, of the struggles that so many of us have. And, and a lot of times we chalk it up to, oh, we're just getting older. And I'm telling you, it's not the truth. It's not the way it has to be. I'm 40 years old, will be 41 in a, in a number of more months. And I'll tell you, I look and feel and function better than I did when I was 20, 25, 30 years old, because I finally found the things, um, you know, that can really make the biggest impact. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. So it really doesn't matter how old you are. Okay. You could be retired um, and living in your last year uh, years. And do you want those years to live with quality or do you want them to be bedridden and on a bunch of drugs and medications, et cetera? We all know that's how it goes so often. So the goals for today is really just like most, some people just like, what is functional medicine? I don't even know what that is. What does it mean? I, I, you know, maybe you've heard kind of a buzzword or been on social media and you see people talking about it. But we're going to figure out what that is tonight in depth. Um, is functional medicine right for me in my situation? Okay, that's another great question because it may not be. This is not for everyone. Um, I have a pretty uh, rigorous, I guess, question process when I'm working with someone at this point where, you know, you have to be willing to do certain things in order for this to be the right fit for you. Um, and we're going to cover that a little bit later, too. So learning and knowing what your why is like, why do you want to be healthy? Why do you want to and then fill in the blank? That's what we want to talk about as well tonight. And then how can you change the trajectory you were on? in regards to your health and your life, right? Like, is there anything you can do? Or are you just like on the path you're on and it's like, oh, it's my genetics. This is the way it's going to be. I'm telling you that's a myth too. And I'm not going to have time to go into genetics tonight, but holy smokes, I could talk about that for hours because it's just not the way it is. And science has come so far in what we used to think, oh, your genes that's kind of how you live. That's what's going to happen to you. And it's just not the way it is. Okay. It's not the truth. And then I, uh, lastly, I added this from last week's presentation. Um, I wanted to show you guys some examples of what, when we talk about functional medicine, medicine is because we do lab work to actually test what's going on with someone and to figure out and be that, that detective on what's going on inside your body that's uh, causing these health concerns or issues. And so functional laboratory work is fascinating. It will literally blow your mind when you see examples of it. So I put some examples in there tonight um, for you to look at. Okay, so we're going to cover a lot. I kind of talk fast. And again, if I feel it feels like I'm yelling at you right now, I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm just like, first of all, I'm passionate. But second of all, my voice. Ooh, I'm getting, I'm trying. I'm doing my best here. So guys, what is your why? Like, what is your why? I don't have to think very hard about it to think, man, that's my why right there. Like those three little precious, innocent babies that me and Dr. Brittany, my wife, my lovely wife, brought into this world. That's my why. Like, I don't want to be a 45, 50, 55 year old dad, not able to roll around and run around with them and play and just live life. I don't want to be a 60, 65, 70 year old grandparent, not able to hold or play with my grandkids. Like I want to be there. I want to live and be there, not just be there. Like I had grandparents who were there, but they weren't there. Like they weren't there with us. They were, they were, uh, uh, some of them had really bad, serious health concerns, diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, strokes, um, you know, cancers, you know, all the stuff is in my family tree. And those grandparents of mine, man, I just wish they could have been there to like enjoy life with us a little bit more. So I don't know what that is for you. Is it your kids? Is it your spouse or your partner, your grandkids, your family? It could be team members. It could be coworkers. Like you want to be a better coworker. You just don't feel like you're giving your team. Maybe you lead people. 
um, in some capacity. Maybe it's just because you want to enjoy life to the fullest. That is okay. If that's your why, that is amazing. It's not selfish for you to want to live a life worthy of how God has called us to live. And I don't know if you can see that behind me, but that's, that's a verse that's on the wall here in our office is Ephesians 4, 1. Live a life worthy of the calling you have received. And you cannot do that if you're miserable, if you're unhealthy. So let's get to it, right? I want to thrive and not just survive, okay? That's my goal anyway. So let's just ask yourself again, rhetorical question. What's preventing you from living your most powerful life? Is it is it energy? Oh, I wake up in the morning. It doesn't matter how much sleep I get. I just can't. I'm just exhausted and I, or I'm exhausted after lunch every day. And I just, I get home at night and I'm just tapped out. I can't give my wife and, or my husband or my kids the energy that they deserve. Is it weight? Are you, have you gained weight and you just can't seem to lose it? Or are you sick of the yo-yo dieting and you lose it and gain it back? Like those are such problems. And that's really, really hard on your body and your health. Is it mental um, you know, health? Is it mood? Is it anxiety, depression, stress, ADHD, so many other things, sleep issues, clarity issues, brain fog. Gosh, I hear that all the time that people are suffering with this kind of stuff. And then of course, stress, stress is overwhelming us in this world. And not only stress that we think about like emotional stress, that that's one huge area of stress, but physical stress, emotional stress, and then toxic stress. Toxic stress is killing us, literally. All of the chemicals that we're putting in our body through food, that we're putting on our bodies through products, that we're breathing into our lungs, it is literally killing us. And if you're not doing things to counteract or mitigate those things, my goodness, your health has taken a big hit. Okay, so think about it for you. Think about it for your family, for your kids, if you have them in the house already. And let's start doing some things about it. Take the power back in your own hands. It's time to do that, okay? So this is just a short list, but this is the most common stuff that I hear. And it, and just, again, think to yourself, what are you struggling with in your health? Is it gut issues and digestive problems? Is it the energy and the fatigue? So many people with hormonal issues and imbalances that cause all sorts of issues to go wrong in our body. Infertility, men and women, men account for 40 to 50% of infertility struggles. Not a lot of people know that, but men, we are a part of the problem. We need to take care of ourselves and take care of our health. Again, brain fog, memory, concentration issues. Maybe there's thyroid dysfunction is just off the charts how common that is. Hypothyroidism, then the autoimmune, like Graves and Hashimoto's. Hashimoto's is a diagnosis that was like, you know, 10, 15 years ago, it was kind of like, well, what's Hashimoto's? I've never heard of it. And now it's like a dime a dozen. I hear it on a weekly basis, someone that's getting diagnosed with Hashimoto's. Other autoimmune struggles of all sorts, mental health, um, kids that are chronically sick or that have behavioral issues. I love working with kids in our chiropractic office and also in functional medicine. It can be just a, an amazing thing for them. Maybe it's just chronic pain or chronic inflammation or gosh, I want to work out. I love to work out, but I'm just always hurting myself and I can't seem to kick up these injuries. Like what's going on in your body that's limiting you from being able to heal? Chronic sickness and illness, chronic allergies, sleep struggles, skin, hair, nail issues, weight and body composition, cardiovascular, right? So many issues, diabetes, arthritis, all types. I mean, it's just the list could go on and on and on, guys. But I think even the things on that list, a lot of us can like start checking these boxes. Oh, yeah, those are the things I struggle with. You know, and five years ago, I was a burnt out, stressed out. I was 35 years old. I always exercise. I eat well. I take care of myself. And I was a disaster. I had so many things on this list. And it's because I did not take care of myself. I was checking a lot of the boxes, but I didn't actually know what was going on inside of my body, my biochemistry. And when I started to find and figure that out, man, that's when I could make the changes that made the biggest difference for me in my health and why at 40, almost 41, I feel better and function better than I ever have in my entire life. It's pretty fascinating, pretty, pretty awesome. So are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? 
This is a gr- this is a huge question. Have you felt heard when discussing your concerns with other healthcare providers? Okay, so our doctors, man, I have a lot of medical doctor friends, and, and it's a lot of times it's not their fault. There are some chumps out there that they just don't care, and they're just burnt out and stressed out, and they'll give you the two minutes that you paid for, and then send you on your way with your antibiotic or steroid. But there are a lot of great medical doctors out there. Um, but it's it's kind of uh, it's just the way of our healthcare system that they're being so stressed and strained by parameters and red tape that they just literally don't have the time. And a lot of times they honestly, guys, the medical education, they don't have the education and the knowledge unless they've done studying themselves on what to actually do. Like, how does someone beat diabetes or cardiovascular disease without the medications? Right. It's just not part of their repertoire. It's not their baby. That's where people like me come in because we do know and we do know how to do that with people. Now, again, there are some amazing medical doctors. I just met with one just a couple weeks ago is Dr. Dr. Jamie Dodge here in Lincoln, Aletheia Healthcare. And he's an integrative clinic where, man, he's doing some amazing things. And it's one of those deals where he had to leave a big practice in some of the hospital systems and open his own practice. And it's a concierge type thing where you pay like a month membership. And that's what these people are having to do if they want to actually treat people without just treating symptoms, if they actually want to help people get healthier. Okay. So you need to feel heard. You need to have someone that's going to have time to spend with you. Um, And that's, that's a huge problem in our, in our healthcare system. Do you feel like you've gotten answers that work, that actually work? Like if you, you know, and this is, uh, again, I'm not medical bashing by any means or trying to give anybody out there a hard time who's guilty of this because I am too. But like you go in and you're like, okay, I have this symptom. Like, uh, I have, I have, I think I have strep throat or, or, you know, whatever it is, this sinus infection. You know, if the first thing that a medical doctor does is give you an antibiotic or tell you this medication without talking to you about anything else, that could potentially be a Hippocratic oath violation. And that's strong language that I'm telling you, but it truly is. It's like, first do no harm. If they're not talking to you about like getting exercise, changing your diet, doing these vitamins and these supplements that can actually kill bacteria and things without doing an antibiotic, which is doing a lot of harm in your gastrointestinal tract, if that's the first thing they're doing, then they probably need to reevaluate how they're uh, assessing and diagnosing and caring for their patients. And unfortunately, that's the common common thing that's happening out there. Now, again, I'm going to tell you guys a million times over, I'm not anti-medicine, but I'm anti too quick to jump to those things. Those things like antibiotics, like steroids, like uh, surgeries, like all the medications out there, those are needed. We're going to get to that in a little bit. I'm kind of jumping ahead, but they are needed and necessary. And thank God we have access to them because if we're in a dire situation, that can be scary. And if we have access to those things that can save lives, absolutely can save lives, but it should never be the first thing that's recommended unless you're in a catastrophic situation, okay, life or death. Do you feel like the advice or recommendations are only treating a symptom, right? Has anybody ever gotten down to the nitty gritty? It's kind of what I'm getting at there, okay? Do you feel like anyone has taken time to get to the root cause of your health concerns? And if you don't even know what that means, like what do I mean by root cause? Well, let me give you one example. Because I said earlier, this is so common, thyroid issues, hypothyroid. Someone's really like lethargic. They don't have the energy. So they go to their doctor, they get a thyroid panel done, some blood work, and it's like, oh, you got hypothyroid. So here's levothyroxine. That's that's what happens, guys. And I'm telling you, like if you actually look at the research, the thyroid is hardly ever the problem unless there's a tumor or some other something else like that going on with the thyroid. The thyroid gland is not at fault. It is something else going on in the body. And if you actually really dive into the research, oftentimes it starts with gut issues. Malabsorption issues in your gut lead to the thyroid gland not operating and not converting those uh, thyroid hormones properly. And boom, then your, your, your levels are all, all out of whack. Okay. So just a simple example of you have to look deeper in order to find the true root cause answers. And that's what functional medicine is all about. So this little pyramid is kind of just something to just kind of take in real quick. 
You got your nervous system at the bottom, which runs and rules everything. Then you have nutrition and digestion, movement and metabolism, rest and managing stress, reducing toxicity, et cetera, et cetera. Like each of these areas is absolutely crucial for you to pay attention to and know something about. So how many of us can sit here and say, oh, yep, I know how to address and deal with every one of those areas. I'm on it. I'm good. If that's you, you do not need someone like me. If you really are educated and know everything about all of these areas and you're implementing the strategies to improve these areas, you do not need a provider like me in your corner. But so many of us have no idea what's going on. So just ask yourself and be honest, how are you doing in all of these areas? How are you really, really doing? Do you know how to address them or do you not? Do you have no idea how metabolism works and like how do I actually get my metabolism to work properly? How do I digest properly and absorb the nutrients and minerals properly that I need? Because nutrition is an example of maybe it seems like common sense. Okay, if I eat whole food, if it's organic a lot of the times, I limit my sugar intake and limit my processed packaged foods, blah, 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 right? That's all awesome. That's what we need to do. But that's hard enough, right? That's hard enough. Now, what if I told you that it even gets more complicated? Because based on your biochemistry, all of these healthy whole foods may not be the thing that you want to actually eat. And you may be missing certain things or you may be getting too much of other things. And that's when we in functional medicine, we guess or sorry, we don't guess. We test through those functional labs that I was referencing earlier. So it's such cool information that you can actually just at your fingertips that a lot of people don't even know it's out there. So we just basically say the five pillars to functional medicine or what do we say cellular and metabolic health because that's kind of at the crux of the whole thing. If your cells aren't healthy, if your metabolic health isn't healthy, you're not healthy. You have to have healthy eating, daily movement, healthy connections, so that kind of mind, body, spirit, stress management, and then of course smart supplementation. And it's like, oh my gosh, how do we know what to do? How do we know what to eat? How do we know how much to exercise? How much? How do we know what supplements to take? What brands to take? You go down the aisle of the grocery store and it's like, I could probably use all of these. I mean, they all sound good. They all sound like I need them all, but like, how, who do I trust? And it just gets simply overwhelming. So you gotta have someone in your corner that knows what they're talking about. And that's exactly what we're here to do. Now, I'm just going to kind of get to um, the back half of this by saying, so giving you some statistics and facts that it's not meant to scare you, but it should wake you up if you don't already know these things, okay? Um, because the health of our country is, um, it's, it's, it's quite scary what's happening. If you actually look at the trends of everything going on, um, you know, not, you always hear about cancer and cardiovascular disease and diabetes and these big things, which is scary enough, the levels and the incline of all of that stuff, but just chronic illness in general is skyrocketing and it's getting younger and younger and younger. When I talked about kids, our kids, man, they've never been as sick as they are now. This is this generation of kids is by far the sickest they've ever been. And it's like, if we have the more, if, if our healthcare system is like number one or two or three or whatever, top three in the entire world, in the advances that we have and the money we have, why are we literally on the bottom 50 of industrialized countries in our health, right? It's because of our lifestyle and the things that our government and people are letting us do, you know, the toxic chemicals, the way that we farm, all of these things have to do with it. How much processed and packaged food and sugar that we all take in, we're creating an environment of inflammation in our bodies and inflammation is the root of all evil. Oh my gosh, the devil too. But I mean, the devil and sugar are best buddies. That's all I know. So anyway, I love sugar too. I got a sweet tooth. Um, so don't get me wrong. I like myself a little snacky snack sometimes. But, you know, if you're making that a part of your daily life, you're in trouble. Okay. So, but just know that you have the power to take this back in your hands for you and your family. So are you ready to make the changes is the only question. So here's some stats. Nine of the 10 leading causes of death in the U.S. are fundamentally related to or directly rooted in issues with our cellular slash metabolic health. 
most due to chronic inflammation. And I kind of gave it away there, but what is the key underlying issue that most experts agree, 100% of them, 99.9% say underneath all of these chronic illnesses and things that are killing us is inflammation. And inflammation, if you don't know this already, and you'll, you would learn this with me through the way, but I'll tell you now, most inflammation starts in our gastrointestinal system. So if your gut is messed up, you're going to be messed up in a lot of other ways. And it literally underlies all of these things, these top 10 things, except for one. That's why it says nine out of 10. Anybody guess which one's not due to inflammation? Accidents, number four, right? Get car accidents, plane accidents, boating accidents, all the accidents that happen, of course, um, are, are tragedies. But everything else on that list is due to underlying chronic inflammation in our bodies, all right? So this is the scariest statistic of them all. How is your metabolic health? Metabolic health, basically what that means is if your cells are healthy, your, your body's made of cells, and if the cells are not healthy, you cannot perform the vital functions of your body that you need to, to thrive, right, to be healthy. Only 6.8% of us have good metabolic, cardiometabolic health. That was a survey, a study done by National Health and Nutrition Examination of over 55,000 people aged 20 and up. And only 6.8% of us have good cardiometabolic health. That is so scary, guys. And it does not have to be that way. So do you know your biomarkers for cardiometabolic health? And those literally have been shown in the research to be able to predict your quality of life and also your lifespan. So lifespan's getting, you know, it's, well, I shouldn't say getting shorter. Um, it, it, lifespan is actually can be extended a lot, um, but that does not mean you're living in a very healthy way. We're going to see a chart on that in just a second. So I'm kind of jumping ahead. But another scary one is, do you know that five out of every six Americans will get heart disease or cancer in their lifetime? I mean, geez, Louise, why is that? Why the heck does it have to be that way? Didn't used to be that way. Does it have to be that way? I don't think so. Okay, so let's chat about it. Let me summarize it this way. I have a lot of buddies some of my best friends, well, not some of, all of my best friends actually are firefighters here in Lincoln on Lincoln Fire and Rescue. A couple are in other cities too. A few of them are captains. So they're kind of like the lead, leading some of the teams that are helping save lives on a daily basis. And that's what they're called to do. That's what they're meant to do. I've talked to them a lot about this. It's like they're there and they were called to save people, to help people, to serve people in this community. These four alarm fires to, that they're called on, the, the tragic accidents that they're there to give life-saving resuscitation or medications to, whatever it is, that is what they're called to do. So these are the situations that I was talking about earlier where modern medicine is so amazing. If there's a four alarm fire going off and things are just out of control and we are sick and we don't know what to do and man, it's life or death, antibiotics steroids, surgeries, all of these amazing things that most of us have access to, that is where that paradigm fits, okay? But if you have a little sniffle, maybe a little sinus infection, maybe a little stomach bug, do you need to go that route? Or do you just need more sunlight? Do you need more vitamin D? Do you need better gut bacteria for your immune system to function properly? The answer is yes, you do all of those things. Okay, so these little two alarm fires, okay, those firefighter buddies of mine, the thing that burns them out and stresses them out the most is the small little calls that they really shouldn't have to go on, that 99% of their day, that's what they're doing. They're being called out to things that they should not have to be called out for, okay? That's what really gets them. So these small one alarm and two alarm fires in our bodies are really what's causing the devastation, because we're not doing anything about them. And that four alarm blaze that we see on the top right there, it didn't just start out of nowhere. That started as a little one, maybe it started as a spark, right? And it grew into this massive inferno that's just destruction in all directions. That literally is what's happening inside of most of our bodies. And we either we don't know it 
because sometimes things aren't asymptomatic and we do not know. And sometimes they're just small things that we're like, eh, I just have to live with it. Oh, I'm just always bloated. Oh, I always just have gas. Oh, I'm constipated. I only poop once a week. Not a big deal. It's just who I am. I've been that way since I was a kid. It's absolute. You're fooling yourselves. This is not a healthy way to live and things are going to accumulate as time goes on. Okay, so just some examples of that. Inflammation that's chronic in our arteries will cause the placking and the cardiovascular disease, the high blood pressure, the heart attacks, the cholesterol issues, high triglycerides, all of the things that we see from our medical doctors that we need to help. Elevated blood sugar levels, right? That's a huge thing. And then insulin levels with that. If that's spiking and crashing all day, that is really, really hard on our bodies. So we have to know if that's happening. And then we have to be able to know, you know, how to mitigate that or how to solve that if it is. Okay. And then the gut inflammation. Oh my gosh. Inflammation in your gut is just wrecking so many things. It's, it interferes with energy production, neurotransmitters, even for your brain start to be developed in your gut. Hormones start to be developed in your gut. So all of these things interlink and intertwine. You can't really separate. It's one of the other problems that I see in our healthcare system is there's so many specialists that there's not anyone who's just really looking at the entire system and how it's all working together. And the specialists, unfortunately, also don't communicate very well with one another. And that's a problem because that's what's oftentimes needed and what's going to solve the problem. And so, again, when I talked about functional medicine being investigative work, that's really what it is, is we're trying to look at all of these pieces of the puzzle to help you in the best way. So. Without further ado, we're going to kind of compare and talk about what functional medicine versus conventional medicine looks like. So conventional medicine, if you look at these little circles, um, you see allergies and asthma, you're prescribed Singulair. Diabetes and PCOS, you're prescribed glucophage. Chronic inflammation, you're given prednisone, that's mis misspelled. And you can see, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You get a diagnosis because of signs and symptoms, and then you get a medication, right? That's what I was talking about earlier. Like you just don't have the time. They don't have the time to sit down and counsel you and coach you on what it actually needs to change to take care of these things, okay? So there's a shortage of medical doctors, and this is a little bit, some of these this data is a little old, but I've updated some of it. But me medical doctors, they just don't have the time. There's just not enough of them. They're overwhelmed. It's not even their fault a lot of times. So that's just an unfortunate reality. Um, why does this number continue to rise? 50% of our population by 2030 will have chronic diseases. And actually, I think that's gone up because this was a long time ago. This was in 2000. That number's gone up by 2030. There's, it's going to be like 60% of us, maybe more. I don't even know. What? Pre-diabetes went from 9% to 23% over an eight-year period of time. That was in the Journal of Pediatrics. In 2021, 97.6 million Americans age 18 and older had prediabetes. That's 30% of our population have prediabetes. That is scary, people. Super, super scary. And then 80% of us, um, as of 2012, that number's gone up or taking more than one or one uh, prescription medication, which is usually treating a symptom. It's not treating the actual problem. So then on the reverse side of this, what the heck is this thing called functional medicine? I think you've gotten a little bit of an idea already, but we basically look at the body in these, uh, in the nutrition that you're taking in, stress management, sleep patterns and sleep habits, exercise, relationships, mental health. We remove triggers, we replace deficiencies, we re-inoculate the body with what it needs to thrive. We repair things such as the gut lining in order to be able to absorb the nutrients that we're taking in. And we rebalance. And so with all of this together, you're going to um, just heal your body from the inside out without the need for all of these other things that all have side effects. So what it comes down to really is education. You got to you got to have the education in my opinion like the why why do is all of this important. So that's a huge part of what I try to do is educate people on what's actually going on, what's important and how to change it. Discipline. You got to have discipline if you want to make some changes, right? And so that's where this program, this kind of thing is not for everybody. 
Because if you're not a disciplined person or can't learn discipline or not in a place in your life where you're ready to learn discipline, then you might as well just pack your bags up and walk out the door right now. Because if you're not ready to change, change ain't going to happen. Accountability, you know, that's also part of my job is keeping you accountable to the things that you say you're going to do. Right. So it's kind of like a coach and a guide. Like that's what I really see myself as is a doctor. Yes. Um, I have a lot of knowledge, but it's like I, I just feel like it's so just as just as important to help coach and guide people along this journey, which that's again, it's just it's just not what we get in modern day medicine. Like we call our medical doctors. My my medical doctor, I guarantee you don't even know who I am. Like, I mean, because it's like I call him. I think I don't remember the last time I went in like six years ago. And, and I know a lot of people visit their medical doctors a lot more than that, but it still is probably usually when you have either a yearly annual checkup or um, some, you know, illness or sickness has got you, you know, all screwed up and you need something to, for them to help. So, and then the most important thing, <coughs> excuse me, or one of the most important things here is, is what I've said a couple of times is we don't guess, we test. This isn't just about, oh, I'm just a nutritionist and going to give you a meal plan or, you know, an exercise physiologist or personal trainer that's going to help you exercise better. No, that's part of the program. But the main thing is, is looking at what's going on inside of you at a biochemical, hormonal level um, so we can actually figure out what's going on. And, and you know what? Kind of going back, we're going to get back to that in a second, um, and we're wrapping up here pretty soon. But um, this lifespan versus health span thing I threw in there because I just think it's fascinating. Um, I didn't have time to play the video for you, but Dr. Russell Osgathorpe is a medical doctor um, who uh, talks through this chart because he's done a lot of research in this field. Uh, but basically that first light gray line there is basically lifespan without medicine, without modern day medicine. The darker gray one is what modern medicine has done. So you have a longer, it, it stretches our lives out longer. We add years to our life but look at the quality of life is still just almost exactly the same. And actually at the end is worse quality of life. Yeah. We're being kept alive and we all have had loved ones, right. Who are kept alive with this modern medicine. But I'll tell you, my grandmother, my last living grandparent that passed last year, she wanted to die for the last 10 years of her life. I mean, she was ready to meet Jesus and go to heaven. And it's just like, it's just unfortunate because like they kept her alive with all these drugs and medications and things. Um, and it was just so sad to watch. Um, and, and it didn't have to be that way. She was one that she just did not take care of herself. So the orange line is kind of what that represents, what the studies, what they've studied is people that live this functional medicine lifestyle is what I'm going to call it. Basically just a really healthy, good lifestyle, not only live longer, but look at the quality of those years. So it's called compressed morbidity. Whereas, you know, this is the person, this is the guy that's 90 years old that still goes out and goes fly fishing, goes to the gym and rides the bike and lifts weights. And then one day he lays down in bed, he falls asleep and he doesn't wake up. That's exactly what life is supposed to be like, right? We go to meet our maker one day in peace and we're not in misery and suffering through the last years of our life, right? So does that sound like that's how you want to live? Which one of those, right? And so you have so much power and control over that. Right. So how do we practice functional medicine? It is the most comprehensive deep dive into your health, your lifestyle, your habits and everything in between that you will ever have. Hands down, there's nobody else that's going to get deeper than this. I guarantee you that we're looking at lifestyle, all the things I've listed and talked about tonight. Oral health, I did not talk about, but, you know, I just threw that on there because it's like we're looking head to toe. Like we're looking head to toe literally and that oral health, what's going on inside of your mouth can be a window to what's going on down deeper inside of your body. So here's a challenge for you. If you're just curious, wake up tomorrow morning, go into the bathroom before you brush your teeth, open your mouth, stick out your tongue ah, and look at your tongue. If you have a white or a yellowish film on top of your tongue, you have bad bacteria growing in your oral cavity. That means you're definitely going to have bad bacteria growing down in your digestive system. So again, it's a window into what's going on deeper down. Okay. So it doesn't matter if you have gut 
symptoms or not. A lot of people with gut dysbiosis, which means dysfunctional gut stuff going on, inflammation, malabsorption, bad bacteria, outnumber the good bacteria, all these things are called dysbiosis. Um, you do not have to have any signs and symptoms of gut issues in order to have that going on. And that's kind of the tricky part and why we test, we don't guess, right? So super interesting stuff. Gut health, we obviously take a big, big, big look at because so many things start in the gut. Hormone health, of course, and then we do the lab work that are more extensive than any medical lab you've ever seen. We can do genetic testing, which is fascinating. I've done a bunch of that on myself, and my mind was blown what my DNA says I should be, and it shouldn't be a healthy 40-year-old guy, I can tell you that. So anyway, get to the roots. We don't just treat the symptoms. I've said that a million times. So here we are at the end point. So hang on with me here. We're almost done. This is an example of, oh, if you guys have had like traditional medical labs done, this is an example of they're looking at white blood cells and red blood cells and all of these eosinophils and neutrophils and all these fancy words, right? So we're looking at that. We see whether they're high, whether they're you know normal, low, et cetera. Another really common one would look like this, right? So what's your LDL cholesterol, your HDL? What's your triglyceride count, et cetera, et cetera? That's about as in-depth as it gets so many times. And I've looked at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of patients in their lab work over the years that they get from the medical doctors, not saying this is bad. It's all very valid and good information to know if you have high cholesterol, but then what do you do with this? If your LDL cholesterol, your total cholesterol is high, are you just going to go on a cholesterol med? That's what you're going to be told to do. Is that the right thing to do? Most of the time, absolutely not, guys. So I think you know that. So this is the picture of a medical traditional kind of annual lab. Now I'm going to show you an example of some common labs we might run on someone. This first one, and these are not, number one, I just gave, I'm just giving you little snippets here. Some of these labs are like 20 pages long, and I wasn't going to bore you showing you all of these but it's just gonna give you an idea of the depth that we can see. So this first one is called a CSAP. Stands for Comprehensive Stool Analysis and Parasitology. So we're really looking at the health of your digestive system, your gut, based on analyzing your stool. So you can see up here on the top, you can see all of the good bacteria, what are called commensal and then dysbiotic bacteria. So basically we want a lot of green ones, we do not want the yellows and the reds. So you can see on this person, they have some greens, but this NG means no growth. They have no growth of three of the top six good bacteria that we should have. And then they have all of these commensals and all of this dysbiotic. Their gut is a mess. It is a mess and we can literally see it. Okay, so here's the next example. How many of you take a probiotic? And that's a rhetorical question you don't have to answer, but we recommend probiotics to our patients too, but really it's a shotgun approach. You have no idea what you actually need unless you get a test like this done. Because what this is showing is this person does not need Clostridium bacteria. They need Escherichia or Enterococcus or Bacterioids fragilis. Like they need specific probiotics that not all probiotics are created equal. Okay, and we also have to kill these bad ones in order for the good ones to be able to flourish and thrive. What the heck does any of this even matter? If your bacteria in your gut are all out of whack like this, it directly affects your immune system and then the absorption capabilities of your stomach, your gut, basically, your intestines. So you can't absorb certain minerals. So you could be taking all of the awesome vitamins and men's and women's one-a-days and omega-3s. You can take all of that stuff, but if you can't absorb it and utilize it, you're just wasting your money. And this is an example of something, some a person that that might be happening. Down on the bottom, you see they also have yeast overgrowth. So not only do they have bad bacteria, they have yeast that's overgrowing, that's interrupting all of that as well. And then it's gonna, this test also tests for viruses and pathogenic bacteria and parasites a whole nother list of things over here. And then on this page, I thought this, this is always interesting to me as you see muscle fibers and vegetable fibers. So that actually shows if you're actually digesting the 
food that you're taking in. Or if we see muscle and vegetable fibers in your stool, that means you're not digesting things like they, they should be. So just a super, super comprehensive, cool test. This is an example of another test I run on a lot of people. It's called a metabolomics test. And really it's looking at so many cool things. <clears throat> but the summary right here is showing that this person is really inflamed, really, really inflamed. They have a red circle with an eight. They need inflammation support big time. They need antioxidant support big time. They need toxic exposure. So they probably have been exposed to a lot of heavy metals. They need a meth what's called methylation support, which I'm not going to go into what that means today. But then here's some of the results. You see antioxidant levels, all of these vitamins and antioxidants in your body, which ones are good, which ones aren't good. The B vitamins, which are so crucial for brain health, the nervous system health, and for so many other hormonal pathways. And this person's in a big trouble. All these B vitamins are really, really low. So they're just not going to be producing things the way they should. Magnesium, manganese, zinc, we can test all those levels. Omega-3 fatty acids. This person also, again, going back to that stool analysis, this test actually backs it up saying the digestive enzymes and the microbiome of this person are just a wreck. They're in the red. So they really, really need to heal their gut in order to have healing throughout their body with whatever their health struggles are, okay? This one on the right, oh man, I had to include this. If you had a biochemistry or a chemistry class at all in high school or college, you probably remember this. This gave me nightmares back in the day because this is a simplified version, but it's called the citric acid cycle or the Krebs cycle. Don't expect you to know all of these words and all these things, but basically this is the little cycle that your body, the cells of your body have that go through to make energy. Like without this, you don't have energy, you don't live, okay? So if you're struggling with fatigue and energy, this is something we need to look at. Now look how detailed this is. Let's just go right over here, for example, where it says citric acid in yellow. It needs to be converted to cis-acatinic acid. In order to be converted, it has to have iron and glutathione. Glutathione is one of those antioxidants in our body. So if we're deficient in either one of those, this is not, conversion is not going to go well. So this cycle is going to be all screwed up from the very beginning. The little red areas are actually heavy metals. So, so such as arsenic, this person might have arsenic in their system that's interfering with this conversion. So just an example, I just want you guys to picture, this is what I study. Like when I get labs for a patient of mine, I sit there and I study this for hours and hours and try to figure out what's going on and then how to strategize to help you get over and to heal the body instead of just masking it with some sort of, uh, you know, medication or saying, oh, yeah, you just need to take a B vitamin. Um, you know, it gets a lot more complicated than that. And even more data, this same test is continuing to show malabsorption markers and how you di digest and, and metabolize carbohydrates and fats and you know, gosh, all, it's just crazy how much these things show us. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Amino acids. If you guys don't know amino acids, that's the building blocks of proteins. You have to have amino acids in certain levels. And most of us are deficient in a lot of our amino acids. Um, and because we're not eating the right foods that getting the right amino acid content. So that's a big time thing that we need to test for to see where you're at. And then we can, then we can supplement with food and or a supplement if needed. Okay. We can look at all the fatty acids, the omega threes versus omega sixes versus omega nines. And this is huge for cardiovascular risk for example. Um, so just big time, big time, big time. If someone's been exposed or we think they've been exposed to heavy metals, this is also something that you can add on to the test to show all of these metals and where they're at in your body. So then if you're, if you have these, like this person does, you need to do a heavy metal detox, right? And so that can be a whole nother road that we go down. And, and I'm, I'm going to whiz through this one too, but the Dutch plus test is the Hormones are a lot of times on people's minds, men and women. And I'm going to use men just because I'm a man and it's like, oh, low testosterone. And uh, we have all these pop up places now that, um, you know, you can go get testosterone injections prescription if you have low test. And it's like it's just a debacle. It's a debacle because if you actually study hormones, you can it, the, the, the frustrating thing is. Um, 
you know, and I'm going to go to this page because this actually shows the complexness of the pathways is, is if you have low testosterone, you have no idea why it's low because it could be normal, but it's just being diverted somewhere along this pathway. And maybe it's being turned into estrogen. And that's why you have all of these signs and symptoms you do of low testosterone. But if you actually just look at the pathway and figure out why that pathway is going wrong, it's actually sometimes pretty easy to heal and actually get things working properly again. And then you don't have to depend on a testosterone injection anymore. And the same thing holds true for women with progesterone and estrogen. You have to look at the pathways of these things and how it's being metabolized and utilized in the body and where is it going wrong if it is. And then you can start to heal from the inside out. So just super, super fascinating, fascinating lab work that just goes so in depth. Um, if anybody struggles with stress or energy, the adrenal glands, which are on top of your kidneys, produce um, cortisol. We've probably all heard that hormone before. Cortisol, high cortisol, high adrenaline levels is high stress hormones, right? So this little picture, um, kind of this graph shows uh, it's really an easy test that you can see what your cortisol levels are at through the day and through the night. And if you have, you should have a very specific pattern. We should have a low cortisol at night. And within the first 30 minutes of waking up in the morning, it should spike to its highest level. And then it should gradually decline through the day. And that's when you're going to feel your best. And it's when people's cortisol levels are all jacked up, the pattern that they start to feel that chronic fatigue, energy, stress, really getting after them. So this is another super easy test to do, and it can show us a ton of information, just a ton of information that you've never seen before. So to wrap all that up, just remember why, why, why are you here tonight? Why are you listening tonight? Right. So what, what drew you in to kind of want to, uh, to, to learn something new? Right. You must have something going on in your life that's still a struggle. So maybe you've tried a lot of things and nothing seems to quite be nipping it in the butt. Right. So that's where I think functional medicine can so be something that that you need to look into. So remembering your why. Why are you here? Um, and then here's the, the questions I have for you guys. And you just have to honestly answer these because I want to help all people. I'm here to serve. That's what I was called to do with my life in healthcare is just to serve people. But are you ready and willing to learn? If you're not, you don't need to bother. Okay, it's just going to waste both of our time. Do you have discipline in your life? Like I asked earlier, if not, are you ready to learn discipline? Because if you're ready to learn discipline, I can help with that. Okay. Um, or if you already have it, you know, yep, once I got my mindset on something, boom, I'm going to do it. That's awesome. You're ready. Do you need accountability? And do you accept accountability well? Because if you need accountability, that's not a problem. That's what I'm here for, too. But do you accept that accountability well? That's a question that you'll have to answer. Are you coachable and ready to take guidance in many aspects of life and lifestyle? right? you got to be coachable, right? We all want our kids to be coachable. So let's be coachable. <laughs> Are you ready to invest in your health to test and not keep guessing or just living the way that you're living without any answers at all, right? So this is truly an investment. It's an investment. Functional medicine is, like I said, the most comprehensive deep dive you'll ever have. But it definitely is an investment in time and energy and in money, of course, which we're going to talk about that part in a second. Um, but it's the most worthwhile thing you probably will ever do in your life in regards to your health. So who's ready to join? Let's do this. I'm so ready. I'm so passionate about this. It doesn't matter who you are. You could be a single person. You could be a mom or a dad with little kids that just needs more energy. You could be retired and in the last 10 years of your life, more than likely. This, this, this stuff is for anybody and everybody who's willing to put in the effort to learn um, how to live their most powerful life, right? So what I do is I have a program here, and this is what I want to do is kind of walk you guys through what the heck my program is. It's a 16-week intensive, basically, online course. Okay, so that's the education part. Is you, I've already 
done all of the modules. I've recorded myself over PowerPoints. Um, and you chip away at that at your own pace over a 16 week and sometimes a longer, I'll give you a little longer if you need a little longer period of time. But in that 16 weeks, you have unlimited chat with me. 24 seven, literally, unless I'm sleeping, I'm answering messages and questions for people. So literally, I'm like a concierge doctor. I'm always here for you 24 seven. Okay, so that's a huge part of this program is the time and the attention that I put towards you guys. You have five one on one calls with me that are about an hour each long. So that's a lot of time where we first dive deep into your health, your lifestyle, your habits, your family history the most comprehensive probably health history you've ever done. I ask a lot of questions. We figure out what's going on with you. Then we recommend what kind of lab work I think is going to be the best to figure out what's going on with you. We do a lab interpretation and summary, and then I give you strategies, and I basically lay it out in options, and, and we kind of talk through what makes most sense for you in your life at that point. Uh, we talk about nutrition plans, what kind of meal planning you should do. And uh, of course, supplementation might be a part of that, especially if there's healing to be done. But I've told a lot of people this that I work with, and it's the truth is I don't, I'm not a big supplement taker. I would rather not take any. There are about five that I currently take every single day that I'll probably take forever in some way, shape or form. But when I was healing my body, I had to take more. Okay, so there's this period of healing that you, you oftentimes need to do uh, more than just food. Okay, so we have these five one on one calls and then every single week we have a live group call, which I love them. They're fun. A lot of times it's me educating on just another topic It's Q&A time. But the part that I love the most is I have quite a few guest experts come on from different areas of healthcare that just are there to teach you guys and that you can learn from someone other than me because you get a lot of me one-on-one uh, -on -one with you, but also in the in the online education courses. And uh, it's good to hear from other people. And then I also, um, just anybody that I uh, have into my program um, are people that I've known for a long time and I trust. And there are people that if you need extra help in a certain area, these are the people that I would send you to and refer you to, which is why I bring them on. Okay, so super, super valuable. Um, the value of this program is just, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's just, it's just out. It blows my mind how much time and energy and effort I put into developing this and then how much time, energy and effort I put into figuring out what's going on with you. Um, and then strategizing and just being in your corner, just being in your corner, ready to listen, ready to work my tail off to help you figure out your life and your health. Okay. So what the deal is, and here it is, guys, like if you're ready to make a jump and you want to do this, I say today and only today, but I know a lot of people, I got to send this recording out. So I'm going to give, um, I'm going to probably put an expiration date of this probably by the end of tomorrow or maybe the end of the weekend. Um, but prices are going up, you know, everything going up these days. So a package like this is honestly in Lincoln, Nebraska, can be five grand. In other places, it can be up to $10,000 for the amount of work you get, depending on where you live. The, my package, this deal soon going to be $3,000 per person. It's probably going to be more in the future. So, you know, this is the best time. And if you know people who are in need of this too, now's the time to give them my info and get them in on this deal too, because um, it, 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 the cost is just going to keep going up the busier and busier and busier I get. So the value all of that value today for you guys is $2,000. So my program is actually 2,500 bucks right now, but I'm knocking $500 off tonight for you guys. So you can either, some people like to just pay that up front. You can also do that over four monthly payments. Okay, so this is a sweet deal that you should take advantage of. If you're sitting there and you're maybe listening to this as a couple or you're like, oh man, my husband really needs this too. Or maybe you have a child, like you and one of your kids need work together. It's always so cool um, when people do this together in a household, not only the education part, because you can talk through it, but set goals together. You can eat you know, nutritiously together, and you can do this thing together. I'm knocking another 500 bucks off for a second person. So you can do two people for $3,500 total, right? One person's going to be that 
not many more months down the road. So this is a sweet deal for you guys. Um, and I'm just appreciative of you being here. And just remember that true health, vitality, resilience, and longevity and happiness does not live in medicine. It lives within you. You just have to know what to do and how to do it. And that's why I'm here. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the main screen here before you guys all log off here. I'm going to go back to this screen because here is what's going to make it really easy. If you're interested in this, you're going to see this pop up on the screen right now. If you click that green button right there, it's going to take you to the link for that one time. $2,000 payment, and you can just sign up and get started tonight. And I encourage you to do so. Um, and then what I'm going to do too is I'm going to copy and paste. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, and then what I'm going to do over in the chat area is I, hopefully this works. There is the $2,000 monthly payment option. That link should hopefully work. And then the next link is if there's a second person, if you guys want to do, you have to choose one of the $2,000 options for the first person, but then this link would be for the second person. It's a $1,500, um, $500 off tonight, and it's broken up into monthly payments. That's the only option for that one. Just do spread it out a little bit for you um, so you have monthly payments, okay? So I'm going to – you guys have that information there. Click on the links, um, and, and I hope you do. Um, and then – Hopefully you still see the offer there. You can go to the chat box for the other links. Anybody have any questions? And you can chat, put them in the chat if you have any questions at all. Something didn't make sense or you have questions about, you know, the program, the cost, what it all entails, anything at all. I am here for as long as I need to be. And actually, I am going to do one other thing as if that's not enough. Oops. One other link I'm going to type in here right now. That link right there is, okay, if you're sitting here and you're like, oh, I don't know, or I need to talk to my husband or wife before I commit or anything else, um, that link right there is for a free 30-minute personal one-on-one -on -one call with me. You can just click that link. You can look at my calendar, schedule a free 30-minute call, and we can just talk details if you'd like to. So don't hesitate to do that. Leah asked, can I forward this to others who couldn't attend tonight? Absolutely. If you can, um, Leah, if you can, you could probably just copy and paste those links, or you could just click on them and open them in your browser, and then you can copy them and, and send them to someone in an email or a text or however you want to do it. That should, should be the pretty easy way to do it. Um, and then, again, the recording, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to process this video, put it in a YouTube link, and I will send the recording for this talk out to everybody. Um, so. They should all have that. And if anybody needs to get a hold of me, and let's say you send this to someone and they cannot like copy the links or whatever, this is my phone number, 402-613-8537. Text, call, does not matter, um, and I will answer. Set, okay, the second link didn't show up for me. Which one would that? Are you talking about one of the payment links or one of the uh, or the um the free call link do you know which one okay well leah you can always um for the free call. Okay. Well, I can definitely put it on here again. Let me try. Let me try to get this. Actually, I'm going to give you actually just a second. I am going to try to find a shorter link because that one got really long and it's actually a lot easier when it's shorter. So 
Tell me if you can see that. It should say free call link, and then it's um, bit.ly slash free call with Dr. Scott. Hopefully you can see that. Anybody else have any questions? Please don't leave tonight without asking something that you want to ask. Um, if you uh, are the type of person that just wants privacy, I think there's a area on there that you can private message me. Or like I said, I put my phone number right there. Text me. Text me questions. Um, sign up for that free 30-minute call. Um, either way. Any way you can get a hold of me, I'm good with. Okay. And don't hesitate. You know, this is the thing. I'm, I'm like the worst salesman ever. I'm not a salesy guy. I just want to help you guys. Um, so, you know, one thing I do know uh, is I know this is true for myself is if I'm called to do something and I feel that kind of intuitive, like, ah, oh, it's in my gut, like, yep, this is what I need to do. And if I don't do it and I wait for another day or two, my brain always gets in the way. <clears throat> right? It's like, gosh darn it. And then I usually regret that decision. You don't really know what you're missing if you don't put forth the effort and invest in it. Because I tell you, um, I don't know all the answers. I, I will be the first to admit that I will never say I'm the smartest guy in the world. And um, I, I'm not going to know all the answers. But I can tell you one thing is if I don't know the answers, I will help you find them or I will find them. So to clarify, first you do the 16-week program, then begin individual testing. Oh, no, no, sorry. Let me clarify that. So the 16-week program, like if you click that link and sign up literally tonight, Jade, and you start going through some of the nauseating paperwork that has to be done, um, you, start, you start in that 16 weeks basically tomorrow. Like you can start going through and filling the first modules of that 16-week program are health history forms. There's some other health questionnaire forms that I have you do. And then you just start chipping your way through the education from day one. And in that, once you get the health history and the questionnaires formed, uh, forms done, you schedule your one, first one-on-one -on -one call with me. Okay, so that first call should be within the first one or two weeks of your program getting started. And then based on just kind of how, you know, time goes with your schedule, my schedule, um, we should be, um, you, you know, usually having our second follow up call within the first three weeks of the program. And that's when we're hopefully starting to order lab work. And then we start getting those results in probably about halfway through is usually the goal because to get the labs, to do the labs, for, to send them off, and then to get the results back does take a little time. Um, so usually people are about halfway or a little further through the 16 weeks when we get results back. And that's when we start to strategize, um, you know, what to specifically do individually for you. So does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, so it's all happening at, in 16 weeks. And then after 16 weeks, um, there are options for continued uh, care, obviously. It's not like I cut you off at 16 weeks and say bye-bye, good luck, because you're probably just starting to kind of heal and get going um, in phase one. I kind of break things down into healing phases. And phase one usually is at the end of 16 weeks. And then... Um, and then you're going to need some to, to have some continued support um, from me and strategize type sessions. Um, and so there's options for that at that point. So, yep, you're welcome. Okay, guys. Well, I really appreciate all your time um, tonight. I know, gosh, I mean, I went, I always plan on trying to make that about 45 minutes and I always run long because I get into it. Like I said, <laughs> passionate about this stuff. I want to help you guys. I want to serve you. Um, thank you for being here. And I would really, yeah, just appreciate, uh, I would appreciate it, but your friends and your family would appreciate it too. If they're struggling and they need help, man, like don't hesitate, throw the recording to them. When you get it, throw them these links, give them, if nothing else, give them this free call link. Right. So it's like, man, you really need to talk to Dr. Scott about like this health struggle you have going on. And I will sit with them for 30 minutes and give them my undivided attention um, and, and see if this is the right type of thing for them. OK. And if it's not, I will help them find whatever is give them some ideas. So 
you guys want to log off, that's great. If not, if you have other questions and you want to hang out, um, I'm here. So just uh, keep chatting or click the links and get started. All right. Have a great night, everybody. If you don't have anything else. All right, y'all. I am, yeah, no problem. Zach, Leah, Jade, thanks for coming. And um, I'm going to log off so the recording stops. So if you guys want to get a hold of me, you have my phone number. And we will see you all soon. Bye-bye.